Hi, my name is Kylie Wong, a Stanford All-American and linebacker in the NFL for nine years. There is no doubt that being a linebacker in the NFL is a rough way to make a living, especially since your job description is to be as tough as possible and hit your opponents with everything you have. We spend a lot of time training to prevent injuries as well as countless hours in the training room in an effort to recover from the demands we place on our bodies. But even with all that, your body eventually says enough is enough. And the reality is everyone in the NFL gets injured. And unfortunately, that's what happened to me in my career as well. The last decade has been incredibly exciting for regenerative medicine. PRP, microfracture surgery, and other treatments have been around for about 15 years or more. And there's nothing that was out there during my playing days that we as pro athletes hadn't heard of. Just like many of my teammates, I had surgeries and tried different approaches. But back in the early 2000s, I would say the results were just mixed. But it laid a foundation for what regenerative medicine is doing now, which is to use your own body's ability to heal itself. Like everything else, technology and science have evolved to create better and more effective therapies with better rates of positive outcomes. In my opinion, this is a primary reason regenerative medicine is the fastest growing sector of healthcare and why so many people, including me, are trying to learn more so they can avoid expensive medications or costly surgeries that come along with downtime and no guarantees. At 42 years old and after having a career in football, all of my joints were a mess and had experienced a lot of trauma, pain, and inflammation that only accelerates the degeneration process. I've been told that my joints are more likely to be seen in people that are in their 60s or 70s. That concept was really hard for me to wrap my head around because I am still very young and my mobility is extremely important to me, especially since I have four active children that I want to chase around all day. I plan on staying active the rest of my life, but at times the amount of cumulative damage from the NFL that I was walking around with would bring me back down to earth. Losing mobility touched all aspects of my life, including my mental health, my energy levels, and even the way I slept. Sleeping was probably one of the hardest things because when I would lay down at night with all the achiness in my shoulders, it just made it difficult for me to fall asleep. Not to mention, it would wake me up you know, throughout the night. I'm not one of those people that operate well without sleep. I'm gonna be the first to admit that I was grouchy when I wasn't getting enough sleep. I knew I had to do something about this and was determined to educate myself on what was going on in the world of regenerative medicine. And so I reached out to my network who were friends that included physicians, former teammates, business colleagues, and so on to get knowledgeable about regenerative medicine. Of course, I was already familiar with the basics and had heard about stem cells, but as I tried to read more, there seemed to be a lot of mixed messages out there, and it was really confusing to navigate by myself. So when one of my friends showed me what they were working on and shared with me the science and the treatment algorithms they had been using to see results, I was hooked. It complemented everything I believe because our bodies are truly made to heal themselves without all the drugs and without all the potential side effects. I want to try this is what immediately came to my head and specifically thought about my shoulders because the range of motion was beyond subpar. I also had problems with my knees and having multiple surgeries on them. I just kind of figured this is just the way I was going to have to live. My first call was to my good friend, Dr. Mark Addix, a Harvard trained physician, leading orthopedic surgeon in Houston, also a former NFL player. I asked him, what do you know about regenerative medicine? And of course he knew and had been using PRP for years, along with amniotic fluid, but was well aware of the advancements that were being made in the field. We all know about stem cells and we know that when it comes to regenerative medicine, it's not a one size fits all approach. We hadn't seen a lot in the industry that was different, but when we met the guys at the Regen Room and saw that they had built this premium product portfolio that offered a wide range of therapies that can create a personalized treatment program. More importantly, their products were the best and they had demonstrated successful outcomes with a deep understanding of how to implement this into a medical practice as an alternative to surgery. 
We like their product Alpha 2 Active a lot. It's natural and it relies on the patient's own blood to extract the A2M molecule. Best of all, it works regardless of patient age, which is a limitation for most autologous stem cell products out in the market. I tried Alpha 2 Active on a patient who travels overseas a bunch and is super active. He'd been experiencing chronic hip pain for five years. He called me from overseas to let me know that he hadn't felt this good in a long time. I was ready to go by this point. All I want to do is get on the schedule and get my procedure done. The Alpha 2 Active process potentially can produce enough A2M molecule for multiple injections in most patients. For Kylie, he was like a racehorse. We got so much A2M molecule that we had enough to inject both shoulders and both knees. The whole process was amazing. I mean, it took less than an hour. And to watch it, you know, firsthand, kind of see the way they were separating my blood, it was, it was fascinating. But what really got me excited is how I felt. And I'm talking about immediately, like within 24 hours afterwards, it, you know, I started seeing and feeling mobility in my shoulders and my body started to open up. Now give me two or three days later and it was that much better. I had that much better range of motion and I couldn't believe it how fast this thing worked. So what was your wife's <laughs> favorite part about you using Alpha 2 Man, We can't talk about that. Come on, Come on. football player, dude. You know, I know you're a tough guy. But what did you <laughs> used to do when you went to bed at night? Well, it is funny um, because, yeah, my, I tell my wife about three, four days in, I'm like, babe, my shoulders are feeling awesome. And she goes, I know. And I go, how do you know? And she goes, because you're now actually cuddling with me. Ooh. After, you know, 12 <laughs> years of not being able to literally, you know, be in bed because I had to put pillows all around my shoulders to, to make sure that I could sleep comfortably. No, I'm and, with you. I'm and with so you. it was, you know, so I thought that was a really funny thing that she just was like, oh, I know your shoulders feel great. You, you know you feel good when you can get your arm out it, like this. Exactly. And if your shoulders are sore, there's no way you can do it. It was, it was very difficult to sleep. And you I know, had a lot of issues with that. I think this is, if not the, one of the most exciting spaces in medicine you know because as a doctor you don't want to do surgery on right. everybody you, you you want to do something a little bit more conservative and what alpha 2 active does is it gives people something else to use it gives me as a doctor something else in my toolbox that can keep somebody out of the operating room. oh without question i mean i feel like and i'm sure you probably say the same thing i retired because of an injury right okay. i believe that had this been available it would have extended my career at least two to three more years and allowed me to continue like doing and moving in the way that I love. No, without question.